good morning everybody. It is 4.30 a.m. It's 15 below zero. The wind's blowing about 25 knots. And clearly I've lost my mind because I'm heading back out on the ice. So to say it was an adventure getting here is an understatement. It's 5.57 and I'm supposed to be meeting these fellas right here. All right, you guys. This is cold on a whole new level. It's cold this morning, that's the scoop. It's negative three below zero temp and the wind chills are down in the negative 20s. Um, we're gonna set up this morning for some crappies and walleyes. What's your name, Junior? Uh, Joe Taboyak. Uh, cool deal. Yeah. What's your name? Why, Byro. Awesome. You just call this pop-up hub. You just pull these out and they pop out. Here. Just like that. That's a six by twelve foot shack. You can fish probably eight to ten people in there. Wow. If it gets real windy later, we'll end up drilling some ice squakes into the ice and we can anchor her down so she doesn't blow away and right. This is gonna be our best friend today. Everything's gonna start a little slower when it's this cold. So this is a totally different type of fishing, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, it's like any other hunting or fishing. You're always learning and so this is my second day ice fishing and it's a completely different setup. So they're drilling about 15 or 20 holes and we're gonna have a bunch of raw, I don't know. I'll show y'all as it happens. The trap is set, now we just gotta wait for a fish. We'll get a few more of these set up and get some tip down set out and we'll see what happens. I've seen a lot of different fishing techniques. I've never seen anything like this, so. I apologize about all the clothing, but I ain't into getting frostbite on my nose. Oh, fish on, fish on over there. Oh, way over there. <laughs> Ooh, that's Break nice the ice one. in the in the hole. There's your fish. Walleye. Walleye. We just missed one right in front of our noses here. Just a little walleye. But I'm gold, it's not legal. I have a legal here in Wisconsin. Well, we've been fishing just for a few minutes and we already caught one little walleye. Good way to start the day. Nice grab! Really got him. Nice fish. Wider one. Yeah. We got a crappie. Hopefully, if everything goes right, we're gonna be cooking in that shack over there today. I'm gonna have a minnow. Let me see what you got. Yeah, that one's a good one. Yeah, perch here. That's big enough to eat? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Done. Feels like a perch. Oh, a little walleye. Yeah, little baby walleye. Little huh? walleye, yep. Yeah. Back they go. Why bring the minnows? Hey. It's starting to heat up. Nice crappie. Oh yeah. Yep, we need a minnow. Oh, oh God. Holy oh, moly. Look at that. Look at that thing. Oh, Gina's got one. Keep it in the middle of the hole. 
Oh, he's gone. Oh. No, he's not. No, oh, he's there. Ooh, oh, that's a nice shirt. Right. Oh, oh got off. What was it? I don't know. I don't even see it. Looked like about a 25 pound walleye to me. I always say if they get off, go big. Like, he got away, I'm thinking 15, 20 pound walleye minimum. I gotta start moving slower. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good fish here, Good folks. Fish. Oh, good crappie. Oh, yeah. That's one. Dandy. Nice one. That's a pretty white one. All right. <laughs> oh nice. You got him, boy! Nice, nice. Team Arctic in the house! Nice one. How do you like that angle cooler? Oh, it's awesome. All our other mineral buckets are freezing up. It's negative six below zero right now. This one here, it's keeping it insulated in there. You see that? There's no ice in there at all. We got all our other ones in the shack to keep warm, but yeah, it's working great. So you know it's freezing cold when the peanut oil freezes. Get in there. It's pretty much almost there. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold. I don't know how much oil freezes, but <laughs> Got on saw that before we could start cooking fish. Yeah. So who's are you a big time Chicago Bears fan? No. You no. don't like the Bears? Look at this you, hat. Oh, you're a Packers fan. <laughs> Packers fan all the way. Yeah. Yep. Who? Okay. So who do you think is going to go down as the greatest quarterback, Favre or Rodgers? Ooh, I don't know about that. Rodgers. Uh, Rodgers. Rodgers, I'd say. Oh, and hey, by the way, guys. Check us out on Instagram at Deer Meat for Dinner. We've been posting, having some fun there. We're not big into Instagram, but it's a way for you guys to see some cool pictures and hit us up. Um, there we go. Second plate of venison bacon. Mm. Ah, take the whole plate. Give some of the other guys. Grandpa, grab the scooper! Wait, 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 wait. Con's in the line. Oh, God. It's big. Let it run. We were literally just in there filming cleaning crappie. Lenny. Boom! Let go. Is that a walleye? Pike. Got a gator on. It's a gator. Yep, it's a gator. Here he comes. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna tip down too. Oh, nice. Ooh. I'm gonna tip gator. down. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Joe. <laughs> nice fish. Beautiful colors. Yeah. He's peeing. Now, do you keep those and eat them or let them go? Uh, we normally let them go. Yeah. You you know, a lot of people this size here, you could pickle them, but uh, we, we let most of them go. There he goes. All right, you guys, so that worked like a charm. We were inside the shack, warm as could be, getting ready to clean some fish and then cook it. And then next thing you know, we're running out here. My hands are frozen. My ears feels like they're gonna fall off. And now I gotta go warm the camera back up. So it has been probably the coldest morning I've ever experienced in my life. What do you think it was with wind chill? Uh, mid negative 20 degrees below zero. Yeah, I'm from Florida and that doesn't, that I don't experience that ever. But 
That's a crappie. In Florida, our fish are a lot more silver or a lot more dark. This is like a beautiful greenish yellow, beautiful fish and uh, super stoked, gonna be great to eat. We've been frying up some venison bacon. Now we're gonna cut this fish, cook them up while on the ice. Once you come up into the head, angle in so you get all that meat and then just gently run your knife right down the backbone to the tail and then just let your knife, you're not sawing, you're not putting a ton of pressure, just uh, gently let your knife do the work. And I typically use the same knife all the time, so every time you're using a new knife, you gotta kinda get used to that knife. Come around, come underneath those backbone there, the rib cage, got a nice fillet. Just skin it right out. Pretty. Then they have a little, little pin bone right here. Take your fish fillet, dunk it over here in your water hole. I've never actually had that opportunity before. <laughs> right here in the ice, we'll just rinse it off. And that's a fillet. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Sorry about the noise, y'all. We are out on the ice. We're actually in a little shack right now. Everyone's playing with the dogs outside. So all I'm going to do here is trim off the top loin from the bottom loin. So you see that? That's your top loin. That's your bottom loin. And I'm just going, I'm just gonna trim those off. Just like that. You have two perfect pieces. Andy's fish seasoning. Hopefully it's good. When you're having this much fun, everything's good. It, it cannot get any fresher than this. See how it curls up? When you watch the video from yesterday, I told you if, you, if, the, if your oil's too hot, it'll curl. But it'll still be edible. Don't you worry about that. We gotta make this a lot. Turn it off until it cools down. So it has been 100% a great time out here. I don't, I don't have the best of utensils, but we're making a go of it. That's some of that venison bacon. I got plans for that stuff. Take these rascals in here. Don't want to overcook them. Put them on a plate. Take your tortilla. Everything is frozen out here. So we'll try to heat it up right on there. I think that's good enough. Place in a couple pieces of bacon. Love your pork. Don't you like that? Awesome. Put us in some fish. <laughs> this is crazy. But I think it's going to be good. Mm. We have extra forks. Mm -mm -mm. Just a little bit of... That right there, y'all. Check that out. Freshly fried crappie with venison bacon wrapped in a tortilla. <laughs> Tell me if that's uh, any good. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's hot. Wow, that's really good. It's hot, but it's really good. Isn't it, though? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Here you go. Give me this. All right. So is this the first time you've ever cooked fish out on the out on the lake? Yep, it's the first time we we caught fish, cleaned fish, and cooked fish out on the ice. I mean, just just a couple hours ago, these big crappies were swimming around, and here we are gonna eat them. Let's see how they taste. Excellent. That's very good. That's delicious. All right, y'all. What about you? I'm gonna buy that thing. Here. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yummy. Amazing. Very good. Very good. Mm. As Cliff would say, if you don't like that, you're communist. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. But we're sitting here trying to film. I actually got to turn off this camera right now. We're trying to do it all, show y'all what it's like just to enjoy a great day out on the water. We got guillotines, we got tip ups, we got tip downs, we got kids playing hockey, we got, we got dogs, dogs barking baby. in the background, we got four wheelers running around us. And that's what it's all about. Getting out there, enjoying the great outdoors. For me, this is totally new. For them, it's an everyday event. This is what they do. When there's ice on the water, they go ice fishing. So I really appreciate you having me out, brother. Thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. My hands all dirty, but it was nice. Mine's covered in fish slime. <laughs> Send some warm weather up from Florida. We could use it. Yeah, we yeah. could. So, awesome. Thank you for coming today. Hey, I've had a great time. Uh, thank you very much for all the hard work y'all put in. They had so much gear this morning, you can't even imagine. So, a lot of work to make this happen. And I appreciate all you guys for being a part of it. I'm heading south. Tomorrow we fly back home. Lots of cool stuff coming up. But take care. God bless. We love you. And we're gone.